We're in Salem, Massachusetts, recording at God City with uh, Kurt Ballou, watching Converge play uh, a bar in Buffalo called the Mercury Theater. <clears throat> and it was just full of people just going completely apeshit. I saw Kurt do it. I said, yep, that's what I want. I want to do that. The influence Converge had on Every Time I Die is, is enormous. I don't know if he would ever admit this, but the first time I'd ever met Kurt, they put us on a couple shows. I said, hi, I'm Andy from Every Time I Die. And he said, oh, cool. Your riffs are cooler when I wrote them. Really? I don't know if that's no. true. If I did say that, I'd love to go back in time and just punch myself in the face right after I said it. <laughs> They've developed, but I don't think the essence of what they are has really changed all that much over the years. And I think that that's one reason why I have always liked the band and the people in the band is that, you know, they're just genuine, you know, they're true to what they've always been into. That's same or different? Same the same different. on both, tails, different. Yeah. yeah. It's landing on the floor. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I forget which one that is. Uh, it's the same on both. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, he wins every one. Sorry. God <laughs> City. It's that two-headed nickel that I have, so I keep around just for just. And we all just loved like Kurt's recordings. They all sounded huge, you know, urgent, um, and I think that's kind of what we were looking to get back to. When you hear a Kurt Ballou recording, you know it's Kurt Ballou. He's just very vibe-based. He just hears things completely different than we hear it. We wanted that sixth person to put his stamp on something. I heard him say it the other day, I'm putting my name on this too, so I want it to be the best. And it's like, that's what we always, you know, that's what we want. There's a lot of bands where, you know, the this, this stuff that they're doing it might be great, but it's kind of similar, all the songs are really similar, so once you get three or four songs into an album, you really don't need the rest of the record. But with Every Time I Die, you need the whole album, because they're going to keep throwing you curveballs. Yeah. 